FPG, FPGA mining is back in cryptocurrency. And how good are they? And how profitable are they? There's been a lot of hype online uh, that they are very efficient. Let's go find out. So yeah, FPG mining uh, is very new to me, uh, but it's been there out for a while already. Um, it was used for Bitcoin mining. It's at the very start after the graphics cards, uh, but it died very fast because uh, ASIC miners came out, which were more efficient, uh, less used, less power, and just gave a better result. But as reborn again um, with the uh, uh, mining again, and uh, we can mine now. Uh, it's giving a good result on mining like Monero and uh, which is Kryptonite algorithm, then the Libra algorithm. So these have been created now and getting a good result. So yeah, these FPGAs, uh, why they wasn't out for uh, such a long time? Because it's very hard to, uh, it's actually programmable device because uh, programmable device uh, which you can uh, make to do uh, a lot of things. So, and one of the things is mining cryptocurrencies, but it's very hard to do and very little people know about this. Uh, but there's been a few guys came out in public that uh, were told that they're gonna make it easy for an end user to use these uh, uh, devices, uh, which is called FPGAs uh, for cryptocurrency mining, and that, that these should be uh, very profitable. And that's, that's has brought a lot, a lot of uh, hype so there's two uh, different types of mining, like CPU mining, GPU uh, mining, and application-specific mining, and now FPGA mining. Um, as far as the research, there's a, a couple of companies who's doing, and the, the latest chips is available, uh, which is uh, from Xilinx, and another one is Bitaware, which are using the uh, VU09P uh, uh, chips. Uh, I think that that's, that's how they call <laughs> anyway um, and the, these are the two uh, fa two biggest uh, dealers at the moment uh, where you can get uh, the FPGAs from and they also uh, are making uh, like the, the developers kit is quite expensive um, it's very expensive even even without the developer kit, kit but they are doing what they are doing they are creating uh, making a special uh, mining version which uh, which will be slightly cheaper but still also expensive but if the the, the, be the, the benchmarks what they say will do um, they they would do uh, your return of your investment uh, in about 60 to 90 days um, so uh, I'm not sure I don't have that uh, FPGA yet uh, but uh, I will have and uh, I'm very comfortable that I, I will be able to set it up um, but if you maybe not go, not good with the computers um, or anything else, it might be hard for some people. But the, I think if the, when the time goes forward, there will be more and more um, software created and uh, tools for mining on these uh, FPGAs, and it will be more simple. So there is a, a couple of things why they are uh, more. Uh, are more better than the ASIC miners because ASIC miners is an application specific a miner which can mine only one mining algorithm. So if you want to mine a different mining algorithm, you need to uh, um, you need to uh, different ASIC chips for it. Uh, but with these FPGAs, you can program to do uh, uh, a different kind of algorithms. So switch between them, and they are more efficient than the graphics cards. Um, these these devices are mostly used. The biggest market is for a tele, telephone, tele, telecommunication companies. Also, they use for military and all kind of use kind of all kind of calculations. But they are very powerful and they cost a lot. They are about three and a half thousand each at the moment. That's the mining version. Um, I was contacted also the Bitware company. They said the developer kit cost uh, nine thousand, uh, but uh, it comes with a newer series of chip, uh, which is the uh, VU013P, I think that's the name of it. And uh, it should be out probably maybe uh, in a year or so. And Xilinx probably also will release this 
newer version of the uh, mining version. So yeah, uh, actually to get it working, these uh, FPGAs for mining, um, you need to program them to do uh, one thing, and it's, which is in this case mining. Uh, but if you are not a progr programmer or developer, um, don't even touch these uh, and uh, try to uh, 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 start mining with them. Because uh, uh, they, they need uh, quite a bit of skills. Um, but yeah, there's uh, tools coming out which uh, should make it more simply. Um, what do I think about GPU mining, where it's going? I don't think it's going anywhere. Because there's uh, a lot of coins. Uh, a lot of new coins, about 100 coins a day are being created. And, uh, and there will be always what to mine. On, uh, with the GPU, with the graphics cards, uh, which is very easy to set up. Just plug it in, uh, install your software, and uh, uh, insert your wallet details, and uh, you can go. So yeah, um, um, yeah, I will do a, a review uh, when I when I get my FPGAs and uh, see the benchmarking. The benchmarking still sounds promising. Um, on Monero, the guys are doing 14 kilohash. In about 20, 250 watts, which is which is which is very efficient. Yeah, they're not only efficient, but they also are very power efficient, which is uh, which is great. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in for this video. Um, this was my opinion about the FPGAs and what all what, what all about what I know all about them. Um, it's it's also very new to me. As probably of the most of your most of my viewers yes this is my thoughts on the FPGA uh, cards and what they're gonna do for mining if you know more about the FPGA cards comment down below and otherwise thank you for tuning in for this video and uh, uh, share with your friends if you found a value otherwise bye bye see you on the next video